right now All these motherfuckers wonder how All the pretty girls love the style And they wonder if you wanna Hey guys, welcome back to the After Effects part of the tutorial Um... In the After Effects part, I'm gonna explain how to make the C background and sync. It's gonna be really easy. So first, we're gonna import uh, the files, of course. Then we're gonna open the render, drag the song, make three uh, copies of your PNGs. Then make a background. I use the shortcuts to do it. Uh, so Control Y to uh, make a solid. I call it PG. And make it a light slash dark gray. So the CC will affect that. Well, let's put it on quarter for render sakes. And let's see how it looks. Okay. Ah, that's raping my ears. Okay, yeah, we can do some shit with this. That's no problem. Um, yeah, I think this is a good uh, layer to start to see. Just let's save it. And um, call it to see. First, I'm going to do some contrast on my uh, text. So let's say contrast. And put this on 15 and 50 or 45. Just experiment. It hasn't to be like very effective, but just a little. And put the layer on 50. Then I like to uh, find edges. And invert them and put them on 45. So you see, yeah, it's a little bit helps for me and then the shine uh, we will do that after this to see so get your magic booted looks and open it up okay so once it is opened um yeah you have something like this you can get your own presets or you can just make one so what we're gonna do um, I use multiple layers of CC and I'm gonna try to get it on one right now. So, um, exposure can be useful just for the background lately. Um, later on, I mean. Uh, get some contrast, not too much. Like around this, looks fine. Uh, some pop, let's say around. Yeah, I like that. And this is all on uh, personal preference, by the way, so if you don't like it, you don't have to do it. A normal diffusion and a light flex. Yeah, around that. And another one, I make that one blue. Mm. Just play around with the size, the glow. Okay, then we're gonna get another one. Make this one smaller so it's more around text and make it purple. Or, ooh, it doesn't look that good to be honest. Um, yeah, a, a, a purple will work, I like that. Uh, not too much. Just play around with the settings. That's like really important to be honest. And again, it's personal preference. Like I might like this and you might not. Then get a star filter and put this on negative four and put this on three. You can put that one on zero and get a color. I do purple. So there's like a, a difference in the color and not everything is the same. 
Then let's start with a lens distortion. Put that on negative 30 and this one on zero. Then get a chromatic aberration. Just drag it up around 0 0.5, 0 0.5, negative 0.5. Um, well, soft edgeness, that, that's edge softness, that, that, well, that speaks for itself. Blur uh, size on 1 and quality on 10. Um, a chromatic anim so sheet. Anim anamorphic flare. Let's put the tear result on 0. And make the size 45. Uh, give it a color like that. Make the boost negative 5. Or negative 4. Yeah, I like negative 4. Um, um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, a vignette. Not a huge fan of vignettes to be honest, but hey, let's use it for tutorial. And a haze flare for last and put that one on like a dark purple. Make the um, matte box like zero and the first three you can put them on 100. And just make the color a little darker if you don't want to have it too much. Then go to camera. Um, grab a tree strip process, put it on negative 1.3 oh, 1.3 or 1.4 so it, it makes it a little darker like as you can see um, well yeah you can add some film grain I like that to be honest put it on 2 so it's not too visible um, and then we're gonna come at the important part and we're gonna get some curves going on just a little contrast so it's so it's getting darker um, and a use saturation change the color a bit to your likings like that it's not too much but it's a, it's a difference and I like it and put the saturation on 80 Well, that's basically your um, yes, the C. At least that's how I do it. I think I'm gonna add one more diffusion, like that. Yeah, just a normal one. Um, maybe more glow, less grades, and a little bit like that. Yeah, yeah, looks fine. So that's my C. Um, yeah, 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 looks fine. Okay, um. What are we gonna do next? Well, let's add a motion tile just for the black bars. And let's say we put them on 77. Yeah, okay. And now we're gonna make a smoke. And we're gonna get form for that from trap code. Um, Dispersed twist, I put it all on. Usual settings, uh, get cloudlets, make the feather 100, um, make the opacity 1.3, oh, one. and the size random on 85, and the size on 120. Well, now I think, oh, that's an ugly smoke. Yeah, I know it is. It's basically pretty ugly smoke. Then we're getting a vector blur. And we will put that on directional fading. Make it 80. Make this 1.4 or 1.3. Mm. I don't know. Softness at a transform so we don't see the black uh, bars on the side. Like that. And I think we're gonna add a vortex. I think that will look cool. Uh, let's save it first. Mm. 
I don't know. Um, oh, yeah, that's a little bit too much. Let's not get too crazy with it. Uh, yeah, that should look fine for now. Then let's make the opacity. Well, we can see how it reacts. Yeah, like that. So we can get the opacity lower. Uh, let's say 15. Yeah, you see it like a little bit and I like that. Maybe we can make a dark bluish color, something like that. It's not dark, but it will be darkened out more. Yeah, not much difference, but looks fine for me. Now we're gonna add some particles. Uh, let's start with some particular first. And then we're gonna um, make the emitter on the box. And let's add 250 particles. Make the box size 5000. Drag your layer a little bit because um, particular starts with an animation in the beginning and make position on zero. Now go to particle type, make the, um, the glow sphere, make this 100. The size, let's put it on 15. And then the randoms on 100. Let's give it a color. And then go to physics, put it on negative uh, 1500. And your air. Uh, let's say 200 and negative 200. Let's go to turbulence field and make this 15 and 45. Then we go to the rendering and motion blur and put this on on so we can see the motion blur. Let's see how it looks with C and all. Yeah, um, not really a fan of it. Gonna add a little layer of contrast. Some contrast, so let's say 35. Oh yeah, I like that more. Um, make the particles darker, I guess. Something like this, I guess. I don't know. It's just tweaking around a lot until you have something you like. This looks fine, yeah. Um, we're gonna copy this and make this, uh, the opacity 45. So it's more visible. Then copy both of them and make the color like, let's say this. And let's change um, the middle size by a little bit. And some velocity. Oh, too much maybe. Yeah, like that. So we have different colors of particles. And I like that. Well, let's add another particle layer. And this time we're gonna get form for particles. Well, we're gonna make it in the center first of all. And make it bigger. Get the strings. And get some more strings. Um, let's put it on two and make this much bigger. Oh, well, let's get three back, otherwise, we don't have that front one. Uh, make the twist on three and you think oh it's messy but i was working on that so let's put this on zero and make this around 2500 and then you don't have too much and then get some practical field going on like 45 for the or 35 for displacement 
put the flow on 60. Okay, yeah, looks fine. Then get uh, a blue color. Let's change some of this. Let's say 40 and 25. But now this doesn't look very nice in my opinion. So we're going to make this low so it renders faster. Um, okay, so go back to base form and put some random numbers in here. And let's see how that will look. Ah, this, this, this looks pretty shit. So maybe we can change this to 2 now. This to 75. Oh, I want the 3 back. And put this on ooh, 60, 45, 300. Yeah, this looks nice, to be honest. So we're gonna get back to full and turn this off so we can see how it looks with all the rest. Well, it's not that great. So we're gonna get a, um, we're gonna make the opacity around 50. Oh yeah, that looks better, and then get some glow. And then put this on 45, and let's give it a red glow. Yeah, not much difference, I see. So let's put this on 0.1. Now there's a little glow, so that's good. Um, now we're going into the camera and we're gonna get depth of field on, make the aperture around 200 or I mean the focus distance around 200 and the aperture around 1500. So basically what I did, it blurred out everything away. And that's not what we wanted, um, so we're gonna change it to 1000 maybe, because we don't see the strings anymore. Just tweak around with the settings until you find something you like. So what it did, it blurs out what is really close and what is far i like it to be honest uh, so as you can see the smoke is on a different way more visible i don't like it to be honest so we're gonna uh, put the opacity to one of the smoke and uh, maybe a little darker color so when that's done we basically can go to um yeah that looks much better you still see the smoke like here is it and there Okay, so we're gonna turn off the smoke, turn off the CC, and we'll make it quarter so we can do some syncing. Well, uh, we have our markers from C4D um, in this, so that's pretty nice. So we can see basically the uh, usual drops, the standard drops, I mean, of the C4D sync, so we don't have to do that anymore. So, yeah, that's pure copy pasting. Uh, but of course, we wanna have something sick. So we start with a fade, be sure to make it black again, press D for opacity and put it around here, make it zero, go to the end and press K. I will use a lot of shortcuts, so yeah, let's copy that. Um, let's listen here. Okay, so there are a couple beats here. I was thinking of um, using Edge Detect, to be honest. So let's do that. Let's call it Edge 
detect and let's get edge detect put this on two uh, for color gradient please so we can make it blue Uh, so and I put it on you. So you have it on that. You get wipe circle. Um, put it on uh, the edge detect layer. Make it on the background, and then the circle has to go out. Yeah, like that. I make uh, edge softness. Now let's say 30. 30, 30 looks fine. Let's see how it looks with the C. Yeah. Oh shit. That's hello for right. That's okay, so just put it on point five and that looks fine. Okay. Let's put it on zero, keyframe it, go here, make it 100, and then go here and end the layer by doing Control Shift D and delete it. So you have this. Maybe a little bit slower, so we're gonna select them, press F9 to easy ease them, right click, edit graph, and put it more like that. The speed graph, I mean. So it starts a little bit slow and will go faster. Oh, never mind. Um, shit, that didn't work at all. <laughs> uh, maybe something like this. Nah. Yeah. Okay. Just go back to your. Uh, um just like that yeah okay that looks fine okay so we're gonna fade in and fade out the uh, uh, song first so negative 45 and then we go like around here where it's all visible make it zero make another keyframe and just copy paste the first one we're gonna add some treble so go to effects audio and treble um keyframe that and go to there press u to see all active keyframes make another keyframe 100 go here make it zero then go to the end make another keyframe on zero and make it halfway here um, 100 yeah okay i like that um well first let's get a background shake going on back oh, um shake and some motion tell so we avoid the uh, annoying edges so do it like that and uh, let's make that one motion blur on put it on 0.5 um let's say 45 uh, 35 yeah that should be good i guess a small background shake but yeah, it looks nice. Okay, um... We hear a lot of... Yeah, I don't know how to call it. Hi-hats or something? At least it goes around uh, the thicking all the time. So we're gonna make a black solid and call it Flicker. And we're gonna basically... There was one, so make it zero. 
and we're gonna just fill it out I think it's around this no it's way faster so we're just gonna copy paste it and let's see Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so now let's do some black bars. Um, black bar sync, I guess. Or how people want to call it. So make it 70 here. And go to here. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 back and press U for the active keyframes. Make another 70 keyframe. And uh, never mind, we're gonna do that here. So go to there and then make it 60, make another 60 keyframe, make it even go lower. So let's say 45, and then go back a little bit, another 45 keyframe, and then go back to. 70 and then we go back a little bit make another 70 keyframe 65 same here and another 70 then at the end we will make it 77 again so now we go here it goes uh, up i guess so let's say we you went down here to around 45 and here it was let's say 65 here it was 22 okay now select them all f9 to ease, to ease them and let's make them smooth by just getting the nice hills kind of like a roller coaster feeling Zoom in a little bit so we can see it much better. And then mm -hmm. something like that. E. Then make it go down here. Don't want to have it too much. And then go back up to its default. So that should look good. Uh, here, here. not much but it looks fine we can drag this down a little uh, yeah okay so we have that already done so let's do a color change um, on the drop so I call it C-O-L-R for color basically and then get a color balance HLS and keyframe it go a little bit forward and make this one and it right here how does another color look with the CC oh that looks not bad a little faster I think something like that yeah that looks fine okay 
so here's our first real beat. Um, so we're gonna get a transform. And let's say it, let's rename it to beat one. Because I don't want to have it the same um, name as all the other things. So let's, let's just get a transform. And get a motion tile again to avoid edges. That's just really important. Um, here it is, like 100. And here it is. Uh, let's say it goes back around that and make it 100 again. Easy ease them, but on another way. And add some optic composition as well and check both of them and do it like that that should be good um well we can do um well let's say beat one let's add some twitch beat one twitch one back and get some motion tail going on for the edges. And then we get some twitch. And let's make this no zero. And this on 55. Let's keyframe that. Let's enable uh, slide and speed and light so holy fuck and make this 35 and it is on 30 i guess it's a little bit high but that doesn't matter so we're gonna end it here f9 is shit and that looks okay and then let's get another copy of this delete the find as edges and get the skill and the opacity make it go away like a, like a small spirit that leaves a body or that's at least how i used to call it in the past okay so yeah that looks good let's end the twitch here uh, we can copy that later for all the beats i guess and let's add some wave warp on the text. Like that. I think we can add a mirror over here, like just some effects. Mirror. I think if we add motion to above it, it wouldn't give us any problems. So let's end it here. Let's see how that looks. Oh, not too bad. Maybe another color as well. Just get it. Let's see. Oh, right, so it will be the red color. But the color change doesn't matter. It's always good. Okay. So now we're gonna get all our normal text layers, press S and make keyframe 100 and on the other bit 1 as well. And now go one frame back, make it 0, press F9, select and do it like that. So now it will go backwards and it comes back.
so I think we're are pretty okay on uh, our sink like the effects at least okay yeah That's, that that looks good so now we have the uh, twitch here and i think we can just copy that for all the beats and another one here and another one here another one here and let's go like that So, let's see how that looks. Okay, yeah, that looks good. I like the Twitch. Okay, now we're gonna get the shake. Get motion tell first, of course. And now get the sh shake. And let's say 12. And 3. And make this 80. 12. 1,2. Uh, 0.6. 55, 0 0.7, 3, 0 0.7, 33, 13, 1 point, oh, 1, 1 point 3, 1. And 6. So let's say, uh, let's make this 9. I think this will be better. Let make it zero and keyframe that shit. Easy ease them and let's drag it like that. Oh, there's hardly any shape. Ah, oh, that looks fine. Yeah, I like it. So, and now we're gonna do the same for the Twitch. Just copy paste it all the time. So, and another one for here. And we basically can do two in there, so that's fine. We even can do three in here. Uh, like that, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, now we're gonna add another one and another one. So, let's see how that looks. Okay. That looks cool. I like the shake. Only oh, here it's too short, so. Yeah, looks better. And then we're gonna add some op optic and get your optic composition out. Make that 90. Oh, keyframe one back zero. Press U and just copy paste it basically. And here's one drop so and make it zero here. Yeah. Holy fuck, okay. Oh, 
Okay, so for the drop, because we're probably gonna add the shockwave there, we're gonna uh, yeah, edit the song a little like that. Edit it and go back. I think it's too much, I guess. F9 and oh. I guess something around that. Uh, it can be more. Okay, now we're gonna add a little sound effect. Uh, and around here. Okay, and now we're gonna get a video co pilot shockwave. So let's see which one we can use. Oh, I like that second one. So we can add that. And here's drop. Oh, it has to be here. Okay, so we can speed it up like this much more forward and this so now we can have this around here now we can have a good shockwave make it a 3d press uh, b for position make it all zero and go to the blending mode and put it on add As you can see, the um, the camera also affects the uh, the shockwave now. I think it uh, it looks weird, but it's fine, I guess. Let's rotate it a little so it's good behind the text. Let's add a keyframe here to the opacity and make it. Zero around here and add a CC toner and make it uh, a slightly different color. So, yeah, I don't know, I like different colors. Yeah, that looks fine for me. Um, well, we can add some uh, exposure to make the edges a little wider. Whiter, Jesus. Um, something like that, I guess. Yeah, it's really blurry. Um, maybe we can oh let's scale up the background so that won't get fucked uh i hope this works okay so we have to animate the shockwave by hand now uh, so yeah that's it basically um let's keyframe that uh And now this looks <laughs> oh, uh, 
Um, okay, yeah, that doesn't look how it's supposed to be. So let's turn that around. Yeah, this is how it should look. I think that looks fine. Let's easy ease them. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so we can add a flare over here. Um, underneath everything, so flare, add optical flares. And go into the options. And let's clear all. Yes. Let's get two of the streaks. Um, offsets. So one here. Another one on top of it. Like that. Yeah. And then make it um, transparent. Let's have it start over here. Make it. Something like that. At least a different color. And then let's sync that shit. So let's put it on 22. And well, let's boost up to 90 over here. And then there's one. So you're gonna make it 12, to be honest. I think that's better. I like that. There's another one. There's another one. And then let's put it to zero so the flare is away. And make it 3D. Ah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I forgot that shit. Um, wait. We can animate that ourselves as well. That's no problem. Um, so let's... Keyframe the position. We start here. And it goes to there. Well, first here. Then. Uh, before all that, we need it here. Then we go there. So this one goes up. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, let's see how that looks. Okay, that looks trash. Um, come back. Oh yeah, that looks... Yeah, that looks much better. So now we have a flare, so a little bit more epicness. 
Uh, what can we add more? Well, okay, we have to add some transform. Um, here, and let's call it transform. And this is the first beat, by the way. We have to get that out. So. Let's get some transform going on. So. Keyframe. 175. And go forward and make it 100 again. Wait. So. Is is F9. Uh, zoom a bit up. Like that. And just keyframe it like it's more instant. And here. And here as well. And here we will have like a simple bounce. So let's boink. And let's bring that down and same for this one let's bring it down as well so well, let's see how that looks oh I think uh, when the flare bounces, we can uh, add some small twitches. So let's say small twitch, and let's set that here. Just get your motion tell, of course, and then get your uh, twitch. Um, so. Let's enable light and slide again. And put this up to like 35 and 12. Go one back and make it zero. Now keyframe that shit and get that on every single flare drop. Now we're gonna copy paste to zero as well so let's see how that looks maybe a little bit more maybe we can add some blur as well I think that will look good Small detail, but I like it. Maybe a three on that. Don't want too much. Oh yeah, that looks fine. Okay, and now we have a beat over here. So we make another layer called zoom. Is this the beat? Yes, yeah, so we go here. Get a transform. And let's make sure it's zoomed in. And 
here it's just gone. F9. And then scale this bitch up to even further and let's make this smooth. So oh, yeah, and then let's rotate to 180, and maybe we can do um, this again. Oh. Only now it has to be here. Let, let's see how that looks. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it. Um, let's see how it all looks together. Okay, we're gonna add uh, two more things. That's R and B. But first, um, uh, skew. It's um, a plugin called the the skew from Diggy Damage, you know. And we're just gonna keyframe that like that. And we're gonna put it on some drops. Not here, we can do it here one more time. And maybe at the end. And then at... Uh, well, we also can add uh, the glitch effect. Um, uh, Oh wait, yeah, we can add a, a glitch here. A lot of people have been asking what I used for it, and it's uni dot dot glitch. And just uh, the default preset looks fine to me, so I'm gonna add um, make it here zero at least, and put it here on sixty five. And uh, let's go a little bit forward and make it zero again. And then stop it. Let's easy ease that. So it's kind of a uh, transition, fade in, I don't know what you want to call it. But yeah, I used it in some intros. Yeah. And now we're gonna add the. Um, R as in B. Let's get some good settings for that. Uh, 0.60 by 56, something like that. And now at this is C. And ooh, we also should make a shine. Let's make that one white and let's give it a dark blue color. Or a slightly purple. Yeah. Okay, and let's pre-render this. Okay, so it's done rendering. And let's see. Not sure about the lens flare.
Maybe we can change it. No, like, um, poof. On a beat, it was zero here. So let's change the color. One forward. Let's make it purple now. And let's do the same here. Um, another one. And let's make it orange now. And let's render that out. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's see how it looks. Oh yeah, that, that's nice. So, okay. Let's run the final product. Should be rendered fast now. Okay, okay, let's see, let's see. Let's pull it out on a full, my friend. And let's open this and put it all on and go back. By the way, I don't prefer you to put everything in your background in an different um, composition but just for my uh, FOV I just did it just don't okay it's bad just want to see how it looks that's all my friend and now we can run this out and then we have done this you know 43 layers of bullshit and some more so let's say 50 layers of pure bullshit, like it. Okay, I like that, to be honest, I like that. I um, think I'm gonna change something. Are these the streaks? Because I want to make them maybe orange or red, I don't know. Mm, streaks. Let's make that orange. I'm so glad After Effects like this. Ooh. It's orange. It's fucking orange. It's a huge shit ton of orange. Particles looks nice as well, in my opinion. Yeah, okay. That was a good joke. Let's uh, make it red and I guess more, more whitish. Oh, that's a bit too much. Let's put it out here then okay uh, let's uh, see nope don't like the color let's do it this color then ah come on after effects doesn't like strings i can tell you that And make this go green, or let's say yellow. Yellow should work. It's close to green. It should be fine. Well, it should be very fine. Let let's see. It it, it really doesn't like strings, I guess. Yeah, this looks much better. I'm gonna keep it like this, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, so this is the end view of the tutorial. Um, if you liked it, leave a thumbs up. If you need any other specific tutorials, comment it and I will... I might make one in the future. So, um, thanks for watching and ciao.